Scott Chandler, it says here you've been charged with consummation of a crime, compounding, and false reporting to law enforcement. How do you intend to plead to these charges? Not guilty, Your Honor. And uh, what is the district attorney's position on bail? Your Honor, the Commonwealth believes that Scott Chandler is a flight risk, and we ask that bail be denied. Your Honor, the, the deceased in question was my client's father, and when he learned about the death of his father, uh, he was in shock and grief. There was no conspiracy, nor is he in any way, shape, or form a flight risk. Bail will be set at $15,000. In the Commonwealth versus Adam Chandler, the charges are as follows. Murder in the first, murder in the second, murder in the third, and involuntary manslaughter. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. And again, on the matter of uh, bail? Mr. Chandler not only murdered his brother, he kept it quiet for months, allowing an innocent mother to pay for a crime she did not commit. I strenuously advise that bail be denied. Mr. Chandler is an obvious danger to the community, not to mention a serious flight risk. Counselor? Your Honor, may I be allowed to speak? I'll allow it. I, uh... I still can't believe that my brother's gone. He was a good man. And that's an understatement, no matter how you look at it. A good man. I still miss him every day of my life. So I'm hoping you can understand that um, when I learned of my role in my brother's death, I didn't think I'd ever be able to uh, Forgive myself. The fact is, when I looked at it again, I realized that um, that's what Stuart would have wanted. That, uh, that, that's what he was. <laughs> Love, understanding, forgiveness. So I hope that you can understand and believe me when I tell you that what I want is not for the court to forgive me but for the court to give justice for my brother. Justice. Anything to add? Well, Your Honor, my client <clears throat> has surrendered all documents. His accounts are frozen, and he has deep family ties to this community. As for being a danger, you will soon see that he never meant to hurt anyone nor does he intend to now. Well, I agree that the uh, charges against the defendant are very serious in nature. I believe Mr. Chandler isn't going anywhere. I hereby grant bail in the amount of $250,000. Defendants are free until trial. All rise. Adjourn. <clears throat> Fun sitting there watching mom kick butts. <laughs> I just hope she can do that well for Annie. Just got word they're finished at the courthouse. The judge should be here for your arraignment soon. Thank you. So, I mean, I guess that's it, right? It's your big chance to uh, do what's right for our daughter. Yeah, and what exactly would that be, Ryan? Your suit that you have with Adam to get full custody. Just, just end it. Annie, end it. Leave her, leave her where she is, safe and sound. With you. I can keep her safe, too, you know. Wow, that's going to be tricky from behind bars, which, unless you were just lying to your lawyer, is exactly where you're headed. That's right. So there you go. What are you, what are you so worried about? Well, I just thought I would cover my bases, that's all. Fine. You have my word. I will leave Emma alone if I go to jail. If? I meant when. You're dying. Yes. I realize this is a big shock for you. It's a load of crap. I say I'm leaving so you up the ante? <laughs> wow, anything to get me to stay. Amanda, I'm sick. So why are you telling me this now? Because you're threatening to take Trevor. 
and I only have a few months left, I'd like to spend it with my son. So if you don't have much time left, why are you trying to get me pregnant again? I didn't know about the six months until a few days ago. I thought I'd be able to meet my new child. And then leave it right away? That doesn't make sense. Well, I was doing it for Trevor. At least that's what I was telling myself. I wanted to give him a baby brother or sister. But if I was honest with myself, I'd have to admit that yes, I was doing it for me too. My children are my legacy. Pieces of me left on this earth. I was scared, Amanda, of death, the unknown. I guess it was my way of fighting back, of finding comfort and the idea of somehow living on. So what is it? What's wrong with you? It's a blood disorder. Malignant erythritosis. Never heard of it. Not many people have. It's all right here in black and white. Six months. And then I'm gone. Thank you very much. Now you've given David all the ammo he needs. He's gonna glom onto Amanda like a blood-sucking leech. Mm, by all means, you're so concerned about Amanda, stick around. I didn't say I'm concerned. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, worried. You, I can I'm... see it. I know you are. You're in love with her. You are crazy about her. I'm not doing this Why with you, not? okay? You're, I'm not doing you're this right now. You're gonna stand there and pretend that you're not curious about what your wife said no. when I told her you're ditching Pine Valley. No, Valor. I'm not. I'm not curious at all. You are heartless. Heartless. Stone cold. You're, 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 you're taking her hope. I'm taking her home. You're hope. taking her She home. took my home. No, she first. didn't. Yes, she no, did. Hayward did that. She really? was trying to get it back. Oh, how'd she do that? By sleeping with that scum? What about Trevor? If you walk out the door, you leave Pine Valley, you're going to lose everything. Everything that matters. Ted, you cannot lose something that was never yours. Trevor was never my son. <laughs> 